Hi and welcome back to Just Because. My name is Taro Booth and it's my mission to bring you a simplified practical approach to beekeeping. So today we are going to go through this cell starter, finisher, cell builder, whatever you want to call it and make sure it hasn't started any queen cells and if it has we're going to tear them all down. Then we're going to go get our graft frame out of our uh, colony that we're going to graft from and get the the cell bar out and head to the vehicle and we're going to do some grafting so stick around and and we'll have some fun it's going a lot of muck Nice and full. Well, they started one cell right there. He's looking for queen cells that they're building because there's no queen in that box. The this queen, is our cell start. Queen's in the back box. We're going to graft into this thing here in just a little bit. <clears throat> is that not the swarm that we caught yesterday? Loaded with bees. No, this is This is heart. This is right there. And then you put it in the place of that beehive. Hey, if you want to receive future notifications of videos that can help you take a more simplified, practical approach to beekeeping, consider clicking that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. All right, there were some queen cells started there. I got them all off, so we should be good to go. Put this little guy back together. We'll come back and throw a graft in it in a little bit. on vented so there's plenty of ventilation. Alright, we'll be back in just a second. Alright, here we go. We're gonna get our cell bar out of here and find us a frame of young larva to graph from. Excuse 
me. It's really windy out here today, so I hope you can hear us on the, the camera. <coughs> that looks good. Now well, let's find a frame with lots of We are going to go with this frame right here. that box out. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to put this all back together and uh, we'll see you in the truck. All right, we're here in the Suburban and we're gonna start grafting here. I use these little Chinese grafting tools and a handy flashlight and you gotta have the reading glasses. Or at least I do. So we'll find a few in here and put them on the cell bar. And I'd like to just say for, for those new beekeepers, out there, don't be intimidated by grafting. It really is not as hard as it looks. I just pulled one off right there. Just gently set it down in the bottom of the frame, or the cell. graph 36 in here you want them just swimming in royal jelly you know you've got a good one if you got it swimming
I keep the towel once I get a little bit further along and I put it over it just to kind of keep it moist and not let them dry out. With a little practice, this is actually not too hard. I'm a little bit rusty because I haven't done it since last year, but even rusty. It's not that hard. And if you're a new beekeeper, there's two things that are gonna be constant. You're gonna have queens go bad and you're gonna have bees die. And if you want to Avoid having to pay a lot of money and replace bees all the time. Learn to graft. It will save you a lot of money in the long run and most likely keep you as a beekeeper. You won't get frustrated and get out of the craft. And don't worry about if, if you ruin one or you can't quite get it, just practice, practice. You'll get it down, it's not that tough. There's plenty of videos out that demonstrate this also. So you can learn it. I promise you it's not nearly as hard as you think it is. And it will save you money. Especially with the prices of queens nowadays. They're kind of C-shaped, and you want to come in from the back of the C, slide right down the cell wall, and it will just slide right onto your tool. <clears throat> and then you just plunge it off into the cell on the cell bar. the reading glasses really help because you can see right down in the cell really good and helps magnify them because I have contacts I've got pretty good eyesight but it just is really helpful for being able to see them And the flashlight is also a must. Or something that will light behind it. Then this wet towel just keeps them moist. Doesn't let them dry out. that one and a good tip 
If you miss one and you move it around in the cell down there, don't go back and try to get it. Just move on to another cell. Because the chances are you've probably damaged it. You might not have, but I wouldn't chance it. There's usually plenty on a frame to grab. Two more and we've got it. right we well, got it all right so we will go put this back in or go put it in our cell builder and we'll come check it in 24 hours and just see how many have taken all right we're gonna quickly put these this cell bar in here shut them up and leave them alone for a day 24 hours ish Pull out this center one that's kind of our spacer. Put our graphs in. Just like that. Put their feeder on and that should be all for today my name is Taro Booth thanks for watching just because for more videos that provide you with a simplified practical approach to beekeeping be sure to click that subscribe button and ring the bell notification icon so you won't miss a thing